hey guys welcome back to the channel opinions matter and uh, i had actually made this notes uh, since yesterday after i came back doing an episode on osmo pocket this is going to be a totally different episode because uh, this is my segment of uh, news and politics and text tech news and stuff like that so this is more dedicated to that segment the reason behind i'm making this video is that you might be seeing um, everywhere everybody's talking about apple is probably planning to shift to india and set up in india and what is the reason behind it for me it's all about facts and i am going to give you a lot of facts slides uh, I'm going to pull up all of lot of lot of reports, and I'm going to say you uh, what is the reason behind uh, Apple pulling out uh, from or Apple trying to make more stuff in India or open up a unit in India. Are they switching from China to India? That we do not know. That's if somebody is telling that that is totally wrong. They are not pulling out from China at all. Uh, they might be planning to open up another unit in India. So at first uh, we are going to discuss the topic of patent patent laws uh, in China. So if you guys know or just go through Google right now, I'm going to put a screenshot right now. Uh, you will see there is nothing called patent laws in China. So for example, uh, you know, just for example, take the scenario of DJI drones. Okay, so there is 3000 copies of Mavics, 3000 copies that looks exactly similar to that of a Mavic. DJI cannot patent that thing because there is nothing called patent law in China. On the other hand, India is a very big democracy, probably one of the world's largest democracy. And uh, out there, patent laws do exist. So for example, if Apple takes out a design and a new design will be patent, there will be no many cop not many copies of it. Yes, you know, underground markets will make copies but it will be not as heavy as uh, Chinese manufacturers used to do so uh, they are thinking about that so number one is going to be patent next thing is cheap and next to free land now if you guys most of my uh, viewers from US do not know this but uh, uh, since the government changed in India, it's called Make in India. The government's commitment is to help everybody out who wants to open up a business out there. And uh, they will provide them with maximum assistance. So maximum assistance uh, means that with a big company like, like Apple coming to India means that they're literally going to get next to kind of free land to set up everything you know like so that's a very big plus so it's literally like kind of down to zero investment for them just to get that important topic is uh, law reforms um, you know that uh, I don't know whether how much you know but uh, this is what has begun in US uh, whenever you see the new 2017 2016 Mac and uh, when you go for reddits and everything you will see it and Reddit also there's a movement going on which is called right to repair uh, right to repair is a movement because there is, everything has been soldered in the motherboard of Apple. So whenever you open up a Mac, everything is soldered in the Mac. So you cannot remove, upgrade the RAM, you cannot update the solid state drive, you cannot do anything with the newest 2017 Mac. Why? Because they want to keep the repairs to themselves and that how, that's how you become uh, a trillion dollar to quadrillion dollar, you know, like company. You make 10 times more money than what you're making right now. So. Uh, this is a very thing, very important thing. They can actually come to India. They can actually make a law in India that since this stuff is patented, nobody can uh, do design copies. Now, since 2007, 2008, 2009, suddenly we saw there are a lot of copies, clones releasing all over. It was one is to one ratio copy. And these were true copies which were actually leaked from China and distributed all over the world. Uh, the scale is very very big guys very big scale and big company like Apple will get hit uh, on something like this so that is the reason they want to stop this totally you know and that is how uh, that is how they're going to do it they're at first going to make patent laws then they're going to enforce the law uh, in India that nobody will be able to copy their design which protects their design patents protects their protects their assembly protects protects their parts now this is very very important because in that way they can have a solid grip on the repair market so basically in the down coming down to like 10 or 12 years you will not find uh, assembly design getting leaked um, in India and uh, though there will be you know people will try to do it but the original leak will never happen and because there is 
there is stricter laws against it you know like to be very frank a uh, topic of discussion is um, on an average um, or you get taking a baseline uh, if you compare a tech repair shop in India and a tech repair center in China uh, only if you have visited both of these countries you will know this uh, on an average a tech repair shop or a tech repair agent in India even if you are going to a second hand place or anything they can converse in English uh, they will be able to communicate and they have certain sort of education uh, either high school they usually have a GD or something like that so the minimum amount of education whenever a person is going to a tech industry that standard is much more higher uh, in India compared to China I think uh, the next more most important thing is uh, that there is no sanctions or tariffs against India so which means that an iPhone which is costing around about 1400 or 1500 dollar in US market uh, comes to a US citizen or comes to America with a 1500 dollar price tag only because there's a lot of sanctions against China right now which means that uh, Apple is losing out a lot of profit people are overpaying for their phones and stuff like that um, basically just because uh, there is a lot of taxes slapped onto it this is how you're going to change this so Tim Cook thought this that if we move to India in the coming 10-15 years we will not only stop all this tax formation or anything but on the other hand since we backed out we slowly slowly evolved and slowly slowly moved away from China to India this will also create a some sort of economic uh, you know crisis between between lot of between the world you know because that's a big shift apple shifting from china to india is a very big shift it's a very big impact if they shift but i'm do, i don't think they're going to shift they're just opening up another unit in india so nothing to get you know like too crazy about but uh, if they do the switch that's a very big shift. I'm pretty sure Apple has a lot of software engineers which are from India. So imagine this, instead of directly taking them from, from India to America, then paying them uh, with the H1V visa, then looking for living expenses and all that stuff, you can cut all of this, make them stay in India, open up a whole unit that will be your branch in India, and from there, they are going to do all the work they do not need to come from directly from India to America which means that yes you save up a lot of money on employees also so that's another very good thing communication with Apple and the Indian government will be great now why it is going to be great because um, the Indian government wants big companies like Apple to come and invest in India so they are going to make sure that everything goes right everything from security to land to reforms to protection and everything they are going to give their best now to give their best they are not going to overcharge apple it will be just to show uh, uh you know the country's support by hiring private call centers you know like uh, or making call centers in india with people already having experience you know this makes to me this to be a one-stop hub so the next question remains is that or to wrap it up so how will apple make uh, 10 times the profit in the coming five to six years so I've written this down for you guys so number one what they're going to do is that they're going to cut down taxes and tar tariffs uh, by setting up in India which means that it will be a cheaper iPhone skillful knowledgeable and communicable labor now that is very important cheaper iPhones and more sales not cheap but affordable which means that you are going to get maybe a hundred and hundred fifty dollar discount but Apple is going to make more profit out of that so that is a thing a very big uh, uh, company will receive a lot of benefits from India especially when the Im Indian government is running uh, you know like a make in India kind of a campaign uh, then you know cheaper IT engineers because everything is more or less indigenous um, and um, and the thing is that iPhones didn't grab a lot of attention, a lot of grip in the Indian market. The Indian market is still owned by a lot of Chinese competitors uh, uh, where they're selling Android phones and everything. So making in India will give iPhones, make iPhones a little bit more cheaper and uh, it will make people believe to buy more phones that are actually made in India. So rise of patriotism will be a key point to throw in uh, when Apple is promoting in India. 
Now, lockdown on parts, design leaks, pet patents, and minimizing parts distribution to 50% by 10 years down the line. Yes, uh, by 50%. Parts distribution, assembly distribution, uh, fake uh, you know battery distribution has been the key, key, key success of Chinese economy. Has been a key success. That's how so many people got rich. That is the thing that Apple wants to stop, and this will happen in the coming ten years down the line. Uh, affordable repairs. Uh, repairs will be affordable because Apple will not face any sort of uh, competition and uh, they are going to pull down, bring down a, a repair costs uh, very, very low. And authenticity of the parts will be guaranteed. You will know that the part that is Apple is selling is going to be authentic. And uh, increase amount in recycle as iOS will update and folds will go slow. Well, uh, this is a point that I thought and wrote it down because with this total lockdown, total grip and everything, cheaper iPhones, uh, what will happen is that eventually you are going to give up on your phone. You are going to throw the phone in the recycle program or you are going to do a trade-in where they are going to give you money. These phones will go back dismantled and be reused again. So in that way, the parts, amount of parts, number of parts being reused will be, will be more effective for them and which will make more will generate more revenue or more income for them so that's a very interesting point also so the last question are before we finish so what will happen to uh, and uh, how will india benefit out of it well with with apple in the picture a lot of big companies will invest in india uh, the economy will rise with a lot of jobs uh, that's going to be created surrounding apple and this is going to be i think if if, if the Indian government and the Indian people plays this card properly, there will be a rise of a global technology revolution. I think so. And uh, you might be asking, so how will it affect America? Well, with Apple showing signs of shift, uh, uh, America will get more tighter in uh, sanctions and tariffs and reforms against China, I think so. And um, with that way, you know, like our iPhones will be cheap. So. <laughs> there you go our iPhones will be cheaper uh, but uh, yes uh, there will be more sanctions and everything so politics I will not talk about uh, well so how will it affect China well decrease in economy and export of cloned parts this is a very important thing cloned parts and assembly if Apple slowly slowly pulls out of the Chinese market they are not going to pull out right now. This is going to happen in a five to six, seven years. Economy is already decreasing. As I'm showing you charts right now, economy is already decreasing in China just because you literally cannot live up by selling parts. They, you are not an inventional hub. You are a parts distributor hub. Well, what happens next, uh, we will just only see in the channel. We'll also see in the news and everything. Um, I just found this material to be very, very interesting that how Tim Cook uh, has decided to change the game uh, just by investing in India. And why, when I look more closely, close and close, this makes now more sense to me that, uh, yes, they were doing this whole make to India for the last three years. And uh, nobody actually took advantage of it. And... Uh, Apple, you, this company is, has got a lot of potential because they are light years ahead and they are thinking light years ahead. Not humans, not, you know, like I'm not talking about technology or anything. I'm talking about in the matter of profit and profitability. Well, let's see. Take care. By the way, if you like this uh, presentation, don't forget to like, subscribe and give me a big, big thumbs up.